Hello team, how is it going? Welcome to a new video. Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. We are looking at 10 most powerful militaries in NATO. Okay, that's a North Atlantic Treaty Organization that was organized and signed in 1949 after the aftermath of World War II. Basically, 30 European countries now and two North American. It's grown over time to basically say we will defend each other. So preferably what happened in World War One and World War Two will never happen again. Sort of the basis of it. But let's see, let's get into it. A treaty organization, or short NATO, is basically a military treaty in which multiple nations pledge military support to each other. In today's video, we are going to see the best military powers among the NATO countries. Let us begin. Number 10. Greece. Okay. Starting with the 10th place on our list, we have Greece. Greek army has 385,500 military personnel in service. 130,000 of these personnel are actively in service, while 220,500 of them are reserve personnel. There are also 35,000 per military personnel in the army ranks. As air forces, the Greek army owns 188 fighter jets, 17 transport aircraft, 144 trainer aircraft, 14 special mission aircraft, 270 helicopters, and 29 attack helicopters. Okay, Most of the fighter aircraft in the Hellenic Air Force are the American F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-4 Phantom II jets, with French Mirage 2000 and the Sofa Fels jets also included. As land forces, Greece has 1,243 tanks, 6,134 armored vehicles, 590 self-prepared artilleries, 669 tad artilleries, and 147 rocket projectors. Jeez. Tanks included in the Hellenic army inventory are mostly Leopard 1 and Leopard 2 tanks, which are German-made. There are also about 390 units of American M48A5 MOLF tanks. As Navy, there are 13 frigates, 11 submarines, 35 petrol vessels, and 8 mine warfare ships in the Army inventory. Lucichart makes intelligent diagramming easy and helps your best ideas become real. Number 9. So, starting off with Greece then. A lot more personnel than I ever knew. I didn't know too much about sort of numbers within the Greek Army. Uh, especially when it comes to reserve, they have a lot more... Uh, than the UK. I wonder if that's conscription. Could someone please comment below? Tanks, unbelievable, over 1,200. Says they have a mixture of Leopard 1, Leopard 2, and a few sort of 390 units of the old American um, tank. I'm wondering how many of them are the Leopard 2 tanks, because Leopard 2 is by far one of the best tanks out there right now. Um, so I'd be surprised, if, you know, I'm very, very surprised if they have a good few hundred of them. And if they do, well done. Um, Navy, not bad, 11 submarines, I think it was like 38 frigates, um, but yeah, 385 personnel in total, 35,000 paramilitary, so I don't know how they sort of assist, um, but Greeks, well done. Poland, on number 9 on our list, we have the Polish army. The Polish army has 152,000 military personnel, with 120,000 active and 32,500 paramilitary personnel. There are no reserve personnel in Poland. As air forces, Poland has 91 fighter jets, 49 transport aircraft, 96 trainer aircraft, 9 special mission aircraft, 207 helicopters, and 30 attack helicopters. Currently, Polish Air Force owns F-16, Su-22, and MiG-29 jets in the inventory. Okay, so As main sure. forces, Poland owns 863 tanks, 4,886 armored vehicles, 609 self-prepared artilleries, and 197 rocket projectors. Most tanks in the Polish Land Forces inventory are Leopard 2 Leopard tanks, two as well. T-72 tanks and American-made M1A2 Abrams tanks. Oh. As Navy, there are two frigates, two corvettes, one submarine, three petrol vessels, and 21 mine warfare ships in the Polish Navy. Number 8. So with Poland then, wow, well, I'd say the army is a lot stronger than sort of when it comes to the Navy and Air Force. I'd say that's the weakest parts of their military. Once again, fully equipped with Leopard 2s, Mark 1 Abrams, uh, T-72s, quite obviously an old tank, but a pretty decent tank. Leopard 2 by far the best there. Quite a few personnel. Um, so yeah, you can see how strong NATO is if it came together. Um, just for, you know, from the militaries uh, they've got involved. Canada. Next on our list is Canada on 8th place. 
Canadian Army has 94,500 military personnel in service, 70,000 of them being active and 19,000 of them being reserved. There are also 5,500 per military personnel in the Army ranks. As Air Forces, Royal Canadian Air Force has 63 fighter jets, 36 transport aircraft, 133 train aircraft, 24 special mission aircraft, 6 tanker fleet, and 118 helicopters. Most of the fighter jets in the Canadian Army are either FA-18 Hornet or CF-18 Hornet jets. As land forces, Canada owns 82 tanks, 1,534 armored vehicles, and 163 towed artilleries. All of the tanks in the army are German Leopard 2 tanks. I got Leopard 2 as, as well. Navy, Canada has 12 frigates, 4 submarines, and 12 petrol vessels. Number seven. So we can see that I've actually worked with the Canadian Army, uh, worked with their artillery, very, very good, highly professional. Um, I would say we were fitter than them, but I would say they were very good at their job, especially their sort of fire support team guys we worked with. Um, they knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, Leopard 2 is very popular. As we saw previous, the F-16, they've got the F-18. So not seen any sort of like fifth gen fighters, but some very decent fighters. We know the F-16 and the F-18 are very good fighter jets. A more realistic number sort of tanks that are serviceable and could be used with 80 compared to like 800 or 1200. Um, but once again, the Leopard 2. Spain. Okay, Spain's list, better Spain than Canada. Seven. Spanish Army has 215,000 military personnel in service, 120,000 of them being active and 15,000 of them being reserved. There are also 80,000 per military personnel. As Air Forces, there are 140 fighter jets, 12 dedicated attack aircraft, 49 transport aircraft, 168 trainer aircraft, 15 special mission aircraft, 119 helicopters, and 23 attack helicopters in the Spanish Army. Fighter aircraft in the Spanish Air Force are either Eurofighter Typhoon or F-18 nice. Hornet jets. Ooh, not bad. As land forces, Spain owns 327 tanks, 5,033 armored vehicles, 96 type prepared artilleries, and 140 TAD artilleries. Tanks in the Spanish Army are German Leopard 2 tanks. As Navy, Spain owns one aircraft carrier, 11 frigates, 2 submarines, 22 patrol vessels, and 6 mine warfare ships. Number 6. Nice. Germany. Germany is on 6th place on our list. Germany has 199,000 okay. military personnel military. serving in the army. 184,000 of these personnel are active, while 15,000 of them are reserved. As Very forces, small reserve. They own 134 fighter jets, 75 dedicated attack aircraft, 43 transport aircraft, 37 trainer aircraft, 41 special mission aircraft, 287 helicopters, and 55 attack helicopters. Fighter jets in the Luftwaffe are either Panavia Tornado or Eurofighter Typhoon aircraft. As land forces, German Army has 266 tanks, 9,217 armored vehicles, 121 self prepared artilleries, and 38 rocket projectors. All of the tanks in the German Army are Leopard 2 yeah, main battle tanks. As Navy, Germany owns 12 frigates, 5 corvettes, 6 submarines, and 12 mine warfare ships. Number five. Very interesting so far, going back to Spain. They're the only one so far of an aircraft carrier. Shows how expensive and how hard it is to actually operate and maintain aircraft carriers. So we're going into the top five and only Spain's got them. But as we've all seen, how good the Leopard 2 is, they've all got the Leopard 2, obviously German as well. Uh, Germany has. Spain had the Leopard 2. Very high number of tanks again in Spain. So once again, I, I do wonder how many are serviceable um, when it comes to them. So, but looking good so far. Turkey. On number Turkey, five, on number four. Turkey. Number five, number five sorry. Turkey has 775,000 personnel serving in the army. 425,000 of these personnel are active, while 200,000 of them are reserved. There are also 150,000 per military personnel. As air forces, Turkey owns 205 fighter jets, 81 transport aircraft, 270 trainer aircraft, 20 special mission aircraft, 7 tanker fleet, 474 helicopters and 107 attack helicopters. All of the fighter aircraft in the Turkish Air Force are F-16 fighting Falcon jets. As land forces, Turkey owns 3,022 yes, tanks, 13,270 armored vehicles, 956 self-prepared artilleries, 1,189 TAD artilleries and 407 rocket projectors. There are American M48 Patton and M16 Patton tanks, German Leopard 1 and Leopard 2 tanks, and also Turkish-made Altai tanks in the Turkish Land Forces inventory. 
As Navy, Turkey owns 16 frigates, 10 corvettes, 12 submarines, 35 petrol vessels, and 11 mine warfare ships. Number four. I'd like to check those numbers because that's a hell of a lot of tanks. Uh, there's a good amount of submarines in NATO, isn't there? Um, which we know is quite big. Say Russia, they love testing the waters of the submarines. You know, majority of these have got a good amount of submarines, good, about, good amount of frigates, only one aircraft carrier so far. Leopard 2, just absolutely smashing it there. Isn't a brilliant tank? Uh, and then obviously you're going to see some older tanks. Um, it's just whether what they're maintaining is actually serviceable. They can fuel it. They can put ammunition in all these 3,000 tanks. I'd love to see their systems on how they keep record of all these vehicles and who looks after them. Italy. On fourth place on our list, we have the Italian army. There are 297,000 military personnel in Italy. 170,000 of these personnel are active, while 20,000 of them are reserve. There are also 107,000 paramilitary personnel. As Air Forces, Italy owns 92 fighter jets, 95 dedicated attack aircraft, 39 transport aircraft, 188 trainer aircraft, 27 special mission aircraft, 10 tanker fleet, 396 helicopters, and 59 attack helicopters. There are Italian-made Panavio Tornado, Brazil-Italy Joint Product AMX International, American F-35 Lightning II, and Eurofighter Typhoon jets in the Italian Air Force inventory. As land forces, Italy has 200 tanks, 6,908 armored vehicles, 54 self-prepared artilleries, 108 town artilleries, and 21 rocket projectors. The amount of artillery tanks in the Italian well. army are the Italian-made Ariete main metal tanks. That's not a bad tank. As Navy, Italy owns two aircraft carriers, nice. four destroyers. 13 frigates, 8 submarines, 21 petrol vessels, and 10 mine warfare ships. This game, you're not ready for it. Number three. Oh, stop. Uh, what do we think it is then? Top three. Um, yeah, we go UK, US, and oof, who else do you reckon we could be in there? Norway, no, UK, US, I'm trying to think now, countries, France, um, let's go. United Kingdom, on number three on our list, we have the United Kingdom. British Army has 235,000 military mm. personnel serving in the army. Mm. 194,000 of these personnel are okay. active, while 37,000 of them are reserved. As Air Forces, the UK has yeah. 119 fighter jets, 23 dedicated attack aircraft, 40 transport aircraft, 247 trainer aircraft, 20 special mission aircraft, 9 tanker fleet, 235 helicopters, and 24 attack helicopters. Fighter aircraft in service are either F-35 Lightning or Eurofighter Typhoon jets. As land forces, British Army owns 227 Seems realistic, tanks, yeah, I remember rightly. armored vehicles, 89 self-prepared artilleries, 126 TAV artilleries, and 44 rocket projectors. All of the tanks in the British Army are Challenger 2 main battle tanks. As Navy, the UK owns two aircraft they carriers, do. six destroyers, 12 frigates, 10 submarines, 26 petrol vessels, and 11 mine warfare ships. Number two. Yeah, so um, when it comes to that then, yeah, I think number wise, they've definitely got that wrong. Um, just because we definitely do not have that many personnel in the UK. So it does make me think about some of the other numbers within the video, which I did think was a bit bit much, especially when it comes to sort of tanks and armoured personnel. Yes, they may have a few, but whether they can hold that many, I do not know. So, yeah, we don't have that many personnel. The rest seem quite good. Leather submarines, two aircraft carriers, we do. 227 Chally 2s, I think that's about right, maybe 213. We're moving to Chally 3. Yeah, I would say we could be in the top three, definitely. Definitely with our experience and our training, um, we are definitely up there. I wouldn't put us number one and I wouldn't put us number two. But yeah, I think take Hotspot 3, you could put us with some other militaries maybe. Um, but yeah, the number of personnel are definitely not there. But when it comes to kit and equipment, we are pretty well equipped and we are well trained. France. Yep, yeah, see, there we go. On our list, we have France. France has 415,000 military personnel in service, 205,000 of these personnel are active and 35,000 of them are reserved. There are also 175,000 paramilitary personnel. As Air Forces, French Army owns 266 fighter jets, 125 transport aircraft, 165 trainer aircraft, 
46 special mission aircraft, 18 tanker fleet, 435 helicopters and 69 attack helicopters. Fighter aircraft in service with the French Air Force are Mirage 2000 or the Sogafal fighter jets. As land forces, France has 406 tanks, 6,558 armored vehicles, 109 self-prepared artilleries, 105 towed artilleries, and 13 rocket projectors. The Leclerc. Tanks in the French army are the French-made Leclerc tank. As navy, France has one aircraft carrier, three helicopter carriers, 10 destroyers, 11 frigates, 10 submarines, 15 patrol vessels, and 17 mine warfare ships. Number one. Nice, so yeah, French. French is a strong force. They got a French Foreign Legion as well, which a uh, you know majority of people USA. have heard of. USA, we knew they'd be on number one. Place on our list, we have the US. United States has 1,832,000 military <laughs> personnel in the army. Insane 1,390,000 of these personnel are active, while 442,000 of them are reserved. As Air Forces, USA has 1,957 fighter jets, 783 <laughs> dedicated attack aircraft, 982 transport aircraft, 2,661 <laughs> trainer aircraft, 774 special mission aircraft, 627 tanker fleet, 5,463 helicopters and 910 attack helicopters. Fighter jets in the US Air Force are F-15, F-16, F-35 F and A-10 Thunderbolt the A-10s. jets. Got As loads. Forces, US Army owns 6,612 tanks, 45,193 armored vehicles, 1,498 self-prepared artilleries, 1,339 tail artilleries and 1,366 rocket projectors. All of the tanks in the US Armed Forces are M1 Abrams tanks. As Which Navy, get upgrades USA now, have 11 they? aircraft carriers, 9 helicopter carriers, 92 destroyers, 22 corvettes, 68 submarines, 10 patrol vessels, and 8 mine warfare ships. This is the end of our video. If you enjoyed this kind of so no surprise there with especially the top three and the majority of the nations and military um, militaries within that top 10, Spain, Germany, uh, USA, France, UK, Canada. Um, great to learn about Poland, Greece. Uh, so you feel like some of the numbers are exaggerated. I know sort of the military personnel numbers for the UK army seemed a bit too much, um, but the other numbers actually seemed quite accurate. So it does make me think whether the tanks and the armoured personnel carriers with other militaries most probably are. Maybe they have got 3,000 tanks and we just have a very small number. And um, the US military, we know, are just way above and beyond when it comes to numbers, equip, kit and equipment. You know, 6,000 tanks, 50 odd, 40 odd thousand armoured vehicles. <sighs> what was it like? A few couple of thousand fighter jets. It's just ridiculous. I think there's 1,800 fighter jets. Um, the US could do a lot on their own, I think, and the, their budget is just absolutely insane uh, when it comes to spending. You know, 1.8 million personnel in the US Army alone. Uh, they got a population of, what, just over 300 million. We've got a population of, what, 75, 80 million uh, and we, you know, the British Army is around 75,000 personnel strong, um, not including reserves. So they are just on another level. Um, Greece, Poland, Turkey, some really good numbers there. Just from the top 10 alone, I think we'll do pretty well. Um, you know, all 30 odd countries, 32 countries, what is within NATO. I think there's a very good alliance there. Um, you know, they are there to defend and help each other. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what your thoughts are and I'll see you soon.